Every time. Every time. Hi, everybody. Hi. That's so exciting. Um, so first of all, who here has been uh, here for the first time? Raise, raise your hands. Ooh, give them a round of applause. So for those of you who are here for the first time, what is Otsalon? I'm so glad you asked. Otsalon is six short talks on uh, weird, strange, obscure, hidden things in history's art, science, adventure given by both experts and uh, amateurs. You don't have to be an expert in a field to talk about something on the stage. You can just have a love for the topic and want to do some research on it and then come up with like a slideshow and present it on the stage. So people who were sitting in this audience two months ago are on the stage tonight. So, yes. Um, so now, among the uh, stories we have here tonight, we have stories about stolen children, stolen artifacts, stolen diamond, stolen body parts, almost stolen fortunes, and grave robbing pilgrims. Ooh. Uh, now, so like I said before, if you want to talk on the stage, go to odslon.com slash speak, speak. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, look over our schedule for the rest of the year. Look at the different themes that we have for the rest of the year. And if there's a story in history that you've always been like nerding out about, that you're, like, you'll like tell friends when you're drunk in the middle of the night, like, dude, there's this thing where this guy did this thing to this person, find a place where you can shoehorn that idea into one of our themes for the rest of the year, submit it through the website, because we do look at the, even the, uh, the regular speakers of Atsalon have to submit their stories through there. Uh, and we keep track of that, and we read it, and uh, we might pick you for a future Atsalon later on this year. Also, please follow us on the social medias, on all the Google Yahoos, on all the Instagrams and the Twitters. All right, now, as Anetta said, I am a magician. And lots of people were asking me before the show, are you going to do a trick for Stolen? <laughs> so if everybody in the first two rows could please stand up. Oh, wait, wait. That's your wallet. 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 And that's your wallet, too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ta da! No, yes. <laughs> All right, so now whenever we start Odd Salon, the curator has to uh, come up with a quote uh, to kind of uh, frame the evening. We call it our invocation. So to start off the night, here's the start of the show. <clears throat> I am delighted to usher you through an evening of mad scientists, questionable psycho, uh, pseudoscientific theories, improbable art, erratic behavior, and defied conventions. Welcome to Crackpot. Oh. I might have stolen that from someplace, sorry. <laughs> that joke brought to you by Alicia Ehrlich. She told me to say that. Because you're well, thank you. <laughs> Truth be told, I actually had a really hard time trying to find a quote for tonight. Uh, because surprisingly, uh, there aren't a lot of great quotes on stealing. And nothing that really spoke to me. I mean, I found things like, I would not put a thief in my mouth to steal my brains. No. Nope. If you don't get caught, you deserve everything you steal. Yeah. Nah. Of all the plays in baseball, stealing home is the most exciting. Still not what I was looking for. But then I realized the reason I had a hard time finding something for tonight is because of the direction we went in with Stolen tonight. You see, like Annetta said, we had a big old heart-to-heart, -heart, actually like six months, a year ago, back when the world was going to hell in a handbasket, still is. And, and we were talking about how like, there's so many amazing stories that get, that get told on the Odd Salon stage, especially stories, again, that 
don't normally get told, and yet there's still so many stories that we've barely touched, so many voices we've not had on this stage. And because after a while, there's only so many times you can hear about a dead white guy doing something mean to another dead white guy. Yeah. White guy. We thought, we thought we would open it up a bit. So we welcome you tonight to Odd Salon Stolen, or shit all dead white men took from everybody else. Surprise! <laughs> Oops. Did I do that? I miss him. Now the thing is, this is actually a really personal topic for me. Being that my father's from Spain, and my mom from uh, Central America, or as I like to put it, I conquered myself, But as you can imagine, I've always been interested in what happens when two cultures... <laughs> you really like that one. You really like that one. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I've always been really interested in what happens when two cultures are smashed together, especially when one of them may have more leverage or power over the other. Because if that goes on long enough, a new culture arises. New people arise. And that new culture and those new people will have to contend with its past. The frames aren't moving. There we go. Now, of course, I was scared of things getting a little too political tonight until I realized history is political. By the very inclusion or exclusion of one story or another from our history, that choice was political. And because Odsalon specializes in telling you the stories of women, men, children, people of color that were left out of our history books, sometimes on purpose, every single time you come here, every two weeks, every single, the fact that you're here tonight means you are conducting a minor act of rebellion. So I'd like to present to you the quote for tonight's invocation. Where justice is denied, where poverty is enforced, where ignorance prevails, and where anyone class is made to feel that society is in an organized conspiracy to oppress, rob, and degrade, neither persons nor property will be safe. Frederick Douglass. I'm excited to have you all here tonight, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. And keep it going for our speakers tonight. A round of applause for Casey Selden, <laughs> Arthur Kay, Egan Hervella, Rangaliotto, and two new speakers.